Hey everybody, it's Josh at Walnut Ridge. Uh, this week I wanted to, to do a video on uh, a product that we get a lot of questions about because people buy these in our store and then they go to install them and uh, run into some issues trying to get it installed. First off, I'll show you um, on uh, some of the Keystone products that we carry, Cougars, Montanas, they are pre-wired and you may see it in your ceiling um, for the WineGuard uh, uh, gateway 4G and Wi-Fi gateway that is pre-wired for it. So you have a sticker up here and somewhere you'll have this plate that covers uh, an access hole where the wiring is. So what this does is it is a Wi-Fi extender basically um, that it can pick up uh, the campground you're at and uh, basically amplify that Wi-Fi signal. And then this one also has a, a 4G SIM card that comes in it. So you can have your provider, uh, I believe on these you can do anything, uh, Verizon, whoever you carry, and I think they also have their own option that you can buy through them. So you'll get 4G um, signal, cellular signal basically, to convert that over to your internet so you'd have Wi-Fi in the camper. So you would purchase this because it's pre-wired that would mount on the ceiling. So all this is, and if you see inside here, it's just a gateway, this box, is actually just going to get mounted in place of where this is up here and so this is just essentially turned into a router for you that's um, that's ready to go for you to connect all your devices to uh, so there's a couple things with this and here's the problems that we run into first off you've got to take this base off this base is what you're going to mount to your ceiling and there's a certain way it goes so if you paid attention to how it came off you can see it's kind of orientated this way. So the holes over here by where all the wires are going to hook up. That's important. You got to remember that. But I'm going to go ahead and pull this out of the ceiling. And you'll see when you when you do this, you want to be careful on pulling these wires down because they're going to be zip tied to it. And these wires don't just yank on them because these three little wires right here, one end are are open. These are ready to be connected uh, to the uh, to the gateway itself. This other end is connected to the antenna on the roof. And if you pull too hard, you could pull those out of it. Now this thing is sealed to the roof and it's kind of a pain in the butt to get off of there. You have to cut all the sealant, peel this thing up, you run the risk of breaking it um, and possibly having to replace that as well. This other wire that you see attached to it, this is just a loop of uh, basically a, a 12 volt power source. So you can see there's quite a bit of wire that they have up in here. You can keep pulling on this, you're not gonna get an end. They, they run this as a loop. This may very well actually be supplying power um, to the antenna also, and, and possibly even uh, like where your key TV is or on some units, maybe a light switch or something that requires constant power. So you don't just wanna cut this um, and then hook your gateway to it because the other side may be powering something else in the units. So that's one of the things we run into, but you would, you would cut this uh, zip tie off of here so you get your wiring. And then you're gonna get this base plate that's gonna mount up here and you can see they, they put the hole for your wiring to come down through. And so you're gonna mount it somewhere where it can be orientated on your ceiling where it has room to slide the gateway on. So that's gonna be the first step is to mount that. The next thing that we run into is people don't understand where these three different wires go to. You can see they're color coded. We have a red, green, and yellow. They are not color coded on the gateway where they hook up. If you have to look in your instructions, it'll tell you number two is, I believe, red, uh, number four, uh, probably yellow, and number five, green. I'm not sure exactly on that. would have to actually look at the instruction manual that's gonna tell you. Um, but that's where those are gonna hook to. And all they, all they do is just, they just push in and click into place. And so now we're good with that one it's, and it's attached. So just make sure you get those clicked in place very well um, so that they're secure. The next thing is, is we have to give power to this thing. That's why they give you this loop here. And in the kit, they give you a couple wire nuts and then they give you a switch. And then there's some, uh, you're gonna have to have a set of crimpers and some wire strippers because there's some spade connectors that's gonna be able to go onto this switch. Now it's important you have this switch that's, that's gonna hook up for power for this. And then this, uh, the power supply is gonna plug in right there. So you would just clip that in. And now we have this. Here's where we start running into problems. You can wire this just straight in the power. Now on camper wiring, this white one's actually gonna be your ground and this solid uh, color, whether it's green or orange or yellow, the solid's gonna be your positive uh, DC voltage. On this, your black one is your ground, so you'd be black to white. And then this red one is gonna be your power. 
if you hook that up direct like that, keep in mind this Wi-Fi is going to stay on all the time. So it's potential running your battery down. That's why they give you this switch in here so you can actually break this wire. That's why they give you the wire nuts. So you could cut this, peel the wire apart, strip it down, connect both, both white wires, now that you've cut it, both white wires and the black together and just wire nut it. And then I would suggest taping the wire nut afterwards so when you push it up in the hole, it doesn't come disconnected. The other side is going to be a spade connector to one spade connector to the positive wire is going to go on here. The other spade connector is going to go on this side so that we have just a simple on and off switch, but you still have to have the other wire hooked up. So you got to keep that in mind. You need the power to flow on through. That's why they give you the second wire nut in here. So you can actually hook two of them up, uh, you know, one, two wire nutted, little piece of wire spade connector hooked to the switch. So that way you can turn it on and off. They also, in the kit, and this is something that makes it a little easier to install, they give you a plate. So you'll be able to put this plate somewhere up by the gateway for your switch to be right there, turn on and off. But instead of having to try and cut this square hole out um, that the switch would normally fit in, like you see on the walls where the, the, the light switches are mounted, this one actually has a plate, but the older ones have just a switch in the wall. Um, you could just drill an inch and quarter hole and then this plate will cover that whole hole, hole, and then the switch will just click into place on this. So that's the important part, and that's where we run into confusion. How do we get this switch on here and have this thing wired right? Um, all you gotta do is remember, you're just breaking the power with the switch, on or off, and then the, the ground's just hooked together. So um, hopefully that'll kind of help clear up how to install this on your own. Obviously, we'd love to do it for you. You can. Uh, Go online, actually schedule an appointment with us, and then we can install it for you if you'd like to uh, with our online scheduling now. Uh, day of purchase, a lot of times we leave a little bit of room to be able to do that. If you're here and decide you want to go ahead and pick one up, we can usually have a technician throw it on before you leave, and then you'll be ready to go with Wi-Fi for all your streaming devices on those rainy days when you're camping and you have to be stuck inside. So hopefully this helps. Um, and if you have questions, comments, you know, let us know, and we'll try and answer them. Thanks.